They have the dildo. The dildo. The dildo is up, guys. Hi guys, this is Matthias, Ace, and I'm coming at you here with a video about the fighter plane, the trench fighter loadout, that's going to be about maneuvers that are not only advanced, but also, in some cases, very risky. But what is even more important is, uh, when performing such maneuvers, you want to be able to benefit from them. There's really no point making crazy and advanced maneuvers when you're flying around in a safe environment. However, being able to benefit from the skill and the control that you have developed during your time of flying is of course what it's all about. And one of the things that you want to learn as early on as possible as a pilot is the location of uh, the stationary anti-air cannons and how you by knowing this can approach said QF-1AA from a certain direction and minimize the risk to yourself and your plane while doing so. Now this is a rather telling example. Notice the traces from the anti-air as it's shooting towards me and how I quickly respond by descending to just a few meters above the water. And as I approach the anti-air, I keep the slightly higher tower between us and this way, even though the guy using the anti-air knows that I'm coming, he will not have enough time to kill me before I kill him. And in this case, his boyfriend camping the same tower. Now, going up against anti-air that you know is purposely targeting you is very, very risky. And on this map, Feo Fortress, when you're playing Conquest, there's only going to be one plane from each team, which means that if somebody is using the anti-air, they are going to be targeting you. Now, if people using anti-air learned about even 10% as much as uh, what we are forced to learn as pilots, then we would all just get destroyed. Luckily enough, most people using anti-air are not all that aware, which is the only reason why Battlefield 1 still remains flyable. Now to be fair, there are some people, especially on PC playing Conquest, that have started to understand and adapt to the fact that pilots are getting better. What they do is that they step away from the anti-air for a moment, and after we've released the darts over the anti-air, which basically takes no damage from the darts, they get right back on it and shoots us as we're flying away from it. So now in this example I just want to show you again from what direction I approach the anti-air on D and notice how you can actually see the very tip of the anti-air or if it's the head of the guy using it quite early on when you're coming from this direction and this will help you locate the anti-air a little bit more specifically. Now if you haven't already, try to check that out next time you fly on this map. Whoa. Now obviously one of the worst feelings as a pilot is when your plane takes so much damage that you can no longer control it and it starts spinning one direction completely out of control. We have lost objective butter. A lot of them on Bravo. <laughs> Second time guys. Second time. You gotta keep it cool when that happens. When the spin happens, you have to wait until you're flat out. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so if you ever find yourself in this type of a situation, the most important thing here is that you start repairing at the exact proper time, meaning that you have to wait for your spin to turn your plane going head up. Had I started repairing a little bit too early in this situation, I would have crashed before the repair had been finished. We have lost objective butter. A lot of them on Bravo. Enemy soldier sighted. We have lost objective apples. I uh, killed uh, five guys on the sea. Actually, there were seven kills, but who's counting? Funny as it is, that is probably the easiest kill that you will see in this video. Somebody still left on the flag there. Two guys on Naples. There goes on here. What? Uh, when is the new AMD coming out, uh, Asper? Uh, it should be in 
one or two months. I believe for the CPU and for the GPU it's about June. And it seems like it's gonna be a good pass. Yeah. Now obviously as a pilot you would prefer to take out anti-air in situations that are as easy as the one that you see here. But since that doesn't always happen, I'm going to leave you with uh, a few more minutes of the situations that I've collected that hopefully will help you control your maneuvers or at least if possible will inspire you to try to get better at it. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Get wrecked! I just have to get him off the spin and I'll take him out. We have taken objective Freddy. As soon as the AA spawns here. Return to the combat area. There we Look go. at this guy. He's got such moves. Coming to you. Kill them. Uh, from Edward left side towards Edward. Uh, there's two guys. Okay. See his camera is here with a light tank. Yeah. On Whoa. the right side, uh, ahead of you. Ahead of you. Elevator. That was a quite nice yeah, yeah. maneuver. Bomber up, I think. Yeah. I went, gr I was greedy, I was greedy. I might pay for it with my life. Because I was greedy. I'm not. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. I'm Freddy, okay? I'm just... Uh, I'm just repairing here. Um. Magic Mike. Okay. I'm not alone. Away, medic, all the time. <laughs> you see, if you if you don't know how to fly with a fighter plane, you can do things like that also. That's what though, I see. A lot of people who are, you know, very uh, sometimes really good players, they just can't fly, so they just go into like uh, first person mode and use the the darts. I feel like I can be in a bit of a problematic situation here. See if I can take this one out. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. He is gone. GJ got wrecked.
More anti-air. Ninety percent of your death comes from planes. What? How could how could ninety percent of your deaths come come from planes? That's in, that's impossible. We have lost objective butter. What do you do? Sit in the outskirts of the map and and snipe? Or I mean, how is that even possible? 